Well, we're on the move today. We've been here for five nights and uh, we need some water, but there's a gap between water points of 11 miles. The next one's about, I don't know, eight miles ahead of us. So we don't want to cruise that far today because the stuff we still want to see around this locality. But there's a boat yard up ahead said we can go and fill up with water there. So that's where we're off to. It's been fab here. We've had a nice quiet time. Views have been amazing. Just a bit of traffic noise from the motorway, which is a shame, but hey ho. So let's go. Not in the slightest bit incongruous. Not sure why they've chosen just to put those, or I guess a bird scarers on those wires. Haven't seen that before. Answers on a postcard, please. Fran seems to think it might be because of hand gliders taking off that there hill. And I think she might be right. Looks like I is the popular graffitiist around these parts. Obviously part of the Clayton Lemoore's massive. Haven't done one of these for a while. Be a beer emporium. <laughs> I don't think there's any shortage of them coming. It's been a long time since we sat outside the pub in a sunny day and I had know, a beer. We've been sitting inside huddled up most of the summer. We've it's had... been a long time since we've been in pubs really, hasn't it? We've not, yeah. not been going into well, pubs really. the last really. time we went in the pub it was closed because we were down in the yeah. cellar looking at the stalactites. Anyway, we've got really hot weather and I'm struggling to wear all my summer clothes this week because I've not had a chance to wear them yet. I'm changing twice a day just so I can get through all the summer dresses. As you can see, I've got my summer boots on. Well, it's so bad that you didn't even buy any sandals this year. You needed sandals at the beginning of the year and um, the weather's been so bad you didn't even bother to buy any, did you? No, uh, and I couldn't be bothered to go in the shop and sit down and take my boots off to uh, try some on. Anyway, we're going through a town called Clayton Lemoors, famous for its fell running team by all accounts, and a coal mining disaster in the 19th century. I don't know what's over there, but I don't think they want you in there. Leeds, 62 and a quarter miles away behind us. And on the other side, it says Liverpool, 65. So only a mile or so to go, friend, before we're exactly halfway on the Leeds Liverpool Canal. About a mile and a quarter, a mile and a half. Not that we're going all the way, are we? No, to just Liverpool. As well because it's taken us 10 months to get this far. <laughs> Archie in his default position, keeping check on the ducks that might invade. Hey Archie. It's a 
a shame they're not redeveloped into housing, isn't it? So they're building new houses over there. I think I'd rather live in that if it was redeveloped and the new house. Just saying. That'll be the M65 motorway. We need to find some peace and quiet, Fran. Mm. I think we're going to zigzag with that for quite some time. I think we keep going to cross the motorway. So it's just a case of finding a spot and not away from it. Liverpool 63 and 5 eighths. Yay! Halfway dead on. That's that. The sign there says it's halfway dead on, Rich. <laughs> section. Once we get past this uh, tree here you'll see the bridge in the distance we've just come from. Well we're off for a little circular walk to go and investigate the village of Church, otherwise known as Church Kirk. And Kirk being a Scottish word for church. It's church, church. Who knew? And there's a church there. Yeah. We so don't... I'm not sure if it's open or not. We're going to have an investigate. But church is exactly halfway point on the Leeds Liverpool Canal. So uh, we're going to have a look at the marker that uh, tells you where that is exactly. And uh, it's another incredible day. It's really misty today. It's uh, going to be a steamy one, I think, this afternoon, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's going to be another hot one. Uh, for early September, it's lovely weather. Who's complaining? It's not particularly early as we plan to get out really early. I think it's 10 o'clock now. things never it's, happen. It's still cool enough. So, and we've got a couple of interesting things to show you en route, I believe. Yeah, hopefully, so. if my phone lasts. There's Laura Maisie. So we're sandwiched between a railway track, uh, the M65 motorway there in the distance, up on the top of that hill is a landfill site by all accounts. And uh, to the side of that hill there, you can just about see the chimney of a chemical works. So as lovely as it looks, <laughs> there's all this stuff around you.
exactly 63 miles and 5 eighths. So we're dead in the middle of the Leeds Liverpool Canal. Come on. Well, sadly, it turns out that St. James's Church is redundant, closing in 2015, and is apparently to be converted into a community hub. a little detour to the shop it wasn't a very pleasant to experience and now we're back on the canal walk back to the boat it's like being in a in a strange country everything was odd wasn't it <laughs> the houses the houses are actually quite nice the little old back-to-back -back houses but the whole area just seems to be really run down yes but the people were so friendly and lovely yeah <laughs> everybody says hello so but it was a bit noisy and dirty rubbish being tires being burnt on the side of the street and mm. anyway we're back on the canal and it's peaceful That was interesting talking to Gavin, uh, the artist. Learned so much yeah. about the canal that we didn't know, all about the old artwork and... Yeah, bright works and uh, distinctive from traditional canal uh, artwork, which is the Roses and Castles, it had its own uh, look and feel, but don't quite understand it, so I'll look it up. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a project um, run by Slowway. Slowway <laughs> art group that uh, do projects like this all along this stretch of canal. So yeah, really interesting and nice work. The Super Slowway is a cultural programme covering 20 miles of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal from Blackburn in the west, ending in Pendle in the east. What are we looking at, Fran? These are the old Coke um, ovens. And I don't know that much about them, but I understand they used to bring coal in and burn the coal down into coal, Coke, which was used, gets, I think, a higher temperature. So it's used to smelt iron and such, and was obviously then taken off on the boats. But it's been, they've also been called fairy caves because they've lit them up in the past for children's events. But I've got a great idea. And I think they should clean them all out and have a little craft market once a month. Yeah. How fab would that be? I think there's a lot of other nefarious activities that go on in these nowadays. Well, I wouldn't have thought of that, but yeah, you're probably right. But it's right by the edge of the canal. So it's making loading up the uh, coke onto barges much easier. And um, you can imagine, can't you? The, the stench and the smoke yeah. and the soot and yeah. the fallout from that. Oh, it must have been horrendous. There's, I've just seen even more of yeah, them. Yeah, there's loads there. of them here. It's no wonder that the brickwork for the buildings all went black. With this and the mills and the paper mills around here, calico mills. God, those were the days, eh? <laughs> Here we are back at the boat and last night we had a 
little rain shower, more like a dust shower. So I'm gonna to have to get the mop out again. I only did it a few days ago. Form an orderly line. All right, mister, you come to clean me chimney for yeah, me. Clean the chimney, girl. Shall we have a little song? Yeah. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chiru. How's it going? Yeah, all right. We thought the brush was a little bit small that I bought. It probably is, but um, loads of stuff have come out into the fire and we've had some really chilly nights and mornings and not been able to light the fire because we we're a bit nervous about it. So, and in case you're wondering, we've got mats on the roof. We had the wettest cruise ever yesterday and got soaked. And we really wanted to snuggle down by the fire and we couldn't. So today is a glorious sunny day. So we're getting the fire ready to light. <laughs> having fun, Francis. I'm having a sooty time. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this is all the muck that's come down the chimney and oh, it's quite a lot, isn't it? some of the ashtray. And this has um, gone a bit black. We've got new rope to put around the door. So we're hoping that that will stop all that. We've got spray paint. So this just needs spray, clean all the glass up. And well, it's, it's a bit worrying that black, isn't it? Because it suggests that uh, the rope isn't doing its job. Yeah. So it's, we've got brand new uh, yeah. rope anyway to put in there and we'll see what happens. And there's none along this side. It's all black yeah. around those sides. So it looks like the, perhaps the rope hasn't been put on evenly, but we'll sort that out. We've got a lovely big thick bits of rope somewhere. I don't know where it's gone, but it's gorgeous. And um, yeah, so I better get on with it. Job well done, Fran. Resprayed it. New rope inside the doors, clean the glass ish, and uh, all set now for uh, a nice cold morning. We can get it going. Well, I did all the dirty bits inside the fire though, didn't I? Uh, you Getting did. my hand oh, in the spider girl. webs yes. and um, found a few bits of wood that had been adding up as kindling over the winter. So we're almost ready to go now, aren't we? Yes. And look so. at this, people. A new addition. Some of you might remember when we were on Constanza and we bought this in Todmorden. Well, where we had the car recently, we dropped off to our lockup that we've got in deepest, darkest Lancashire and brought it back and it fits a treat there. And it's just full of all my art gear. So I've got my paints in the top drawer. Next one down is brushes, papers and canvases, more paper. So yeah, really pleased with that. And we've got a nice little lamp as well to go in there. It does look really cosy. The nights are drawing in, as my nan used to say. Today is equinox, which means we've got more night oh, than is, day from now on. So it's about the right timing. And it's also time for you to get on with some artwork, I think. Yeah, I think the uh, my supplies are disproportionate to the amount of work being produced. <laughs> That's all right. That can all be changed. Winter's come in and... Uh, yeah, less cruising days, more painting days. Yeah, I agree. Let's get that fire lit. Well, we had some dramas this morning. I was out on the towpath, spraying the door, and uh, a dad was running with his daughter behind on a bike. And the next thing I know, spladoosh. <laughs> the poor little girl's only gone in with her bike. So um, grabbed a towel, didn't we, and yeah. brought her inside, and she had a hot shower. Yeah. She was only about eight or ten yeah. years old, little Megan. Yeah. And uh, we got her in, got her all dried up cosy. I gave her an old t-shirt to wear because all her clothes were dripping wet. <laughs> but you know, she didn't even cry. She was smiling she was when she like... got out, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah, she was an angel. So, so yeah, Dad and I deed. fished uh, the bike with a boat hook and uh, off they went again on their travels. They went back home, didn't they, I think? I yeah. think they were going home. I told her yeah. she deserved hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, a little bit of drama. It's a good job that we were here, really, because, uh, I mean, Megan would have got out okay, but she would have been dripping wet yeah. and shivering. She and I don't know cold. if Dad would have got the bike out, because that was under the canal. You're well, he was taking his shoes you? off at one point to get in there and get us. Oh. No, you don't go in there unless you really have to. Ah, so. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. it's uh, our good deed for the day. Um, a bit of hard work. We've got to go and get some groceries and stuff, and then we can snuggle down, can't yeah. we, by the fire. All in a day's boat life. Yeah.